Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So I've been holding off on making this video for quite some time, and I will tell you why in just a minute. But um, this video posits the question, um, should I quit YouTube? It's kind of a yes or no question. It could be a little gray, but I'm going to walk you through the analytics or the statistics for my channel and show you some interesting things. And I've seen a couple other videos on YouTube about the same thing. And the content creators are asking themselves the same question. Should they continue with YouTube? Now, interest of full disclosure, I enjoy making content. I make content about what I want. You know, uh, it's, it might be counter convention uh, to just, you know, make content about whatever strikes my fancy. Uh, and maybe that's the reason my channel is where it is. Who knows? But I want to walk you this, through the statistics here I have up on the screen and just kind of show you some things that I find, well, interesting, if nothing else. What you see here in front of you is the main analytics page. But this shows my, um, my watch time, view duration, views, and um, my revenue, which I don't have any revenue. So let's drill into the watch time real quickly. So I click on this guy here, um, and I'll, I'll we'll talk about this little this thing here. But you can see here, in large part, it's been relatively consistent. Uh, so between 300 and 450 minutes uh, over the last 30 days. Let me pull back a little bit. I ran a little experiment with Google with the AdSense and paying Google to you know pimp my channel, as it were. As, as an experiment uh, because I've noticed some things in my long-term trends and I wanted to do a little compare and contrast. So I'm about to show you my experiment. Okay, so what you see here in front of you is the watch time statistics for my channel for the last 90 days. Uh, now, watch time, as near as I can tell, is not the same thing as, as view duration. So I'm not entirely sure uh, how they're related, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So you'll see here watch time. Uh, it, it, it's slowly, very slowly, if you want to look at it over this time period, making uh, what I'd characterize as maybe a little bit of an increase. But it, it is, it's, it's, it's within this little band right here, except for a little bit of time here in the middle. Um, <clears throat> now this time here in the middle, let me turn on uh, views. I'm going to add the number of views to this um, analytic. Now what you'll see here is the views are here in orange, watch time is in blue. Uh, the views go up dramatically for about 30 days and then drop down. This corresponds to the exact time in which I chose to pay Google through AdSense, Google AdSense, to promote my channel. Okay, so you look, hey, the views went up. That's great. Watch time essentially unchanged. Now, something more interesting to me is, I'm gonna click on views here. Uh, you'll see, again, now blues are now in blue. Uh, views are now in blue. And you can see this big uptick, because I paid, and then it went back down to essentially its normal level. Now, if I were to add in average view duration, this is where it gets very interesting. I was, prior to paying Google, uh, averaging you know uh, a fairly amount of fairly good amount of watch average view time. Um, then it went down dramatically um, during this time in which I was promoting the channel, and then it went up dramatically after I stopped promoting the channel. Now this is very unexpected to me. I, I didn't really think that this would happen. Uh, so the only thing I can figure is the new people that were seeing the channel promotions theoretically uh, were not watching for as long. Therefore, it caused my average view time to drop. That seems like a reasonable explanation, but honestly, Google doesn't provide you any explanations in any of this. Um, and so it's, it's really hard to know. Okay, next thing I want to show is some long-term statistics. I'm going to click the last 365. So now, this is interesting. You will see that my channel was steadily growing in watch time minutes over the last year up until around the April time frame. 
And then you can see that it went down and went down and went down and went down and it kind of settled in here at this 400 ish rate. So I was growing watch time pretty significantly until right around April time frame. Now this is, uh, I am not the first one to note this phenomenon. This is right around the time when Google changed their algorithm on the YouTube and stopped promoting videos through uh, their internal promotion uh, capability. Um, to drive this home, I'm going to try and find, let's see, the uh, view source. So let's go try and find that. So this chart here in front of you shows you the traffic sources for people viewing my channel. Now what you'll see here uh, uh, in the graph is this, the purple, bluish purple thing here is essentially the suggested videos. This is where Google is suggesting people to watch my channel. And you can see that it is it is the bulk, it is 55% of the traffic. Um, and Google searches, raw searches was 20%, and then browsers and external come in around 10% each uh, making up essentially 100% of the traffic, right? Um, and this is from a period from uh, essentially the beginning of the channel, mind you, uh, all the way through uh, the beginning of this year. So uh, April of 2018. So if I were to now, let's go ahead and expand this out to include today. Uh, you'll see after the chart updates, you'll see again, dramatic change in the April timeframe the suggested videos here is going down it goes down from 55 to 45 percent in this date range but it essentially goes down to effectively nothing down here um, and i will pull this in here to about right here just to show you how things change so from may ish through today you will see here that the, the suggested videos, again, still, still here in blue, is dropping down to be essentially commensurate um, with the Google searches, um, which is the, or the YouTube search, which is in the maroon. Um, but it is now 33%, uh, I'm sorry, it is now 27% of the total views, and Google search is 33%. So. What I see here is that unless someone is searching for content that my channel is about, Google's not going to push my channel. Now, I got to be honest with you. This is really not good. It's not good for creators. It's not good for people who are trying to grow their channel. Um, and let me tell you why I think this is the case. Because Google's algorithm sees a lot more data than a human being sees. Google's algorithms should be able to, through machine learning and deep learning, figure out what people are looking for, even though they're not searching for a specific keyword or that the content creator has not included that keyword in a description or a tag or something like this. The algorithms theoretically would be a lot more capable of finding content that is similar, the same or interesting to a human being than manual searching. So it is very problematic for someone who's trying to be found unless you're really crafty and creative with your, you know, your content taglines and, and the, the minimal amount of text that you're allowed to use to describe things. Much more interesting is the external pimping here, which is at 19%. It's essentially consistent throughout the lifetime of the channel, um, but it is now making up, um, uh, you know, I don't wanna say a bulk of, of the, the, the fines, but it is still, it has now doubled what it was before overall, um, but it is a major contributor. Um, and so, you know, when you click on this little thing here and you say, hey, what does this mean? Traffic for website and apps embedded in your videos, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, okay, I don't know what that means. A browser feature, traffic from homepage, screen, subscription feeds, or other browser features. Um, again, not entirely sure what that means other than in Chrome, it prompts you um, with videos uh, occasionally if you have that turned on. Um, so it's it, the, the algorithms now load balanced what the traffic sources are. But again, if you're, if you're not doing clickbaity sort of uh, um, graphic art and you're not making some sort of outlandish, uh, salacious sort of title sort of things, um, like this one where I say I quit, right? Um, you're, it's gonna be really hard to be found. So what am I gonna do about it? Well, I haven't figured that out yet. I'm curious, uh, I, I I'm, I'm soliciting your input, I'm soliciting your feedback on um, 
this whole video doesn't make sense. Um, should I even bother creating videos anymore? Now, obviously, if you've made it this far into the video and you're watching it, you're interested in this particular content, maybe you're even interested in my channel. So where is Google getting the information to put these ads on the splash page? I have no idea. They're obviously suggesting someone's videos, not mine. I'm seeing a lot of videos that of channels that I would never consider subscribing to. I watched one video on a, a, you know building a computer and now I got all this computer video building stuff. I've watched hundreds of hours of 3D printing and CNC and I get ones or twosies and those are of the channels I subscribe to. Religiously, I watch, you know, um, 3D Printing Nerd and I watch Maker's Muse. Um, I, those two channels have disappeared from my feed almost entirely. Joel pushes maybe two or three videos a week. I see it maybe once a week. This, my friends, is hugely problematic and this is a massive problem that requires some sort of backlash. I don't know what that backlash could possibly be because this really is a monopoly at this point. There is no other competitor to, uh, to YouTube in terms of video production that has its scale and its scope and its production. So they're essentially free to do whatever they want. So back to the question, should I quit? If this is the way that YouTube is going to be, if this is the way that Google is going to treat their content creators, the people that make them free money, then maybe, yeah, I think I'm pretty jaded and I might quit. The only thing that's keeping me making videos is providing good content and recording my projects and, and just providing a valued service to the people that do watch the channel. So look, this is a, an emotional topic for many people. It's it, it gets me riled up whenever I start talking about it. So I'm interested in your comments and your feedback below. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, I think this shows, if for no other reason, you should subscribe, right? Um, this is an atypical video of mine, not too dissimilar to the uh, previous one. So if you want to come back and more see more YouTube ranting videos, this might not be the one for you. But please, give me your comments, suggestions uh, below on this phenomenon and maybe what we could potentially do about it. All right, thanks everyone. Have a great night. noticed on my very own feed, my feed, that I am subscribed to a couple hundred different channels. Invariably, 90% of the content that is on my splash page on YouTube when I open it in the app or even when I open it in the browser is not from a channel that I have subscribed to. I have to literally go click on the subscribed button to see content from people that I'm interested in hearing from. So this, my friends, pisses me off. This is Google and YouTube screwing content creators, flat out screwing content creators. If I am subscribed to something, they should be putting it front and center on my channel. That is my opinion. But more importantly, where the hell are they getting their insight into what is on my front page? I would say maybe 30% of the videos are from subscribers or friends of subscribers that I may have not subscribed to. The rest of the content, I honestly, is from these new channels they've created. I could give a flying f about medical devices. Pardon my French. <laughs> I could give a, not a care in the world to some of these channels that they're pushing. I don't watch video gaming channels. I may have watched once in, once in the... In, in, <clears throat> <laughs>